All right, welcome, fam, to the Chapter 11 Reconstruction Multiple Choice Quiz. Uh, I'm going to read the questions and the answers. I want you to pick the best answer. Uh, I want you to pause the video if you need to. Go ahead and cross out answers on your uh, answer sheet that you know are wrong. Use all your strategies, okay? If you need to rewind the video and listen to a question again, uh, please do that. All right, here we go. Question number one. Why was sharecropping bad for African Americans? A. Many African Americans did not know how to farm. B. They were forced into debt and could not leave until the debt was paid off. Or C. Landowners did not want African Americans to rent their land. Number two. How did the South restrict the rights of African Americans? A. Passage of Jim Crow laws, which made segregation legal, in the latter part of the 19th century. B. Ratification of the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments. Or C. Refusal of Southern states to allow sharecropping. Number three. Why did Northerners lose interest in Reconstruction? A. They had their own economic problems and were tired of sending troops to the South to enforce the purpose of Reconstruction. B. They believed that the South was rebuilt and needed no more from the federal government. Or C. They believed that equality between the races had been achieved. Number four. Who wins the power struggle between the President and Congress? A. Congress wins and becomes more powerful than the President. B. The President wins and becomes more powerful than Congress. Or C. Congress and the President are able to share power. Number five. After reading the passage, decide which statement is true. Republicans in Congress urged Johnson to add a requirement that southern states must grant freedmen the right to vote. Johnson, however, resisted their pleas. White men alone, he insisted, must manage the South. Is it A, presidential reconstruction wanted to allow southern states back into the Union if African Americans were equal members of society? B, Congressional Reconstruction wanted to create equality for African Americans in the South. Or C, Presidential Reconstruction wanted to send troops into the South. Number six, which statement best describes the author's point of view? We tell the white men of Mississippi that the men of the North will convert the state of Mississippi into a frog pond before they will allow such laws, black codes, to disgrace one foot of soil in which the bones of our soldiers sleep and over which the flag of freedom waves. The Chicago Tribune, December of 1865. Again, which statement best describes that author's point of view? Is it A, someone who supported Congressional Reconstruction, B, someone who supported Presidential Reconstruction, or C, someone who was a former slave? Number seven. Which of the following terms best summarizes the process described in this paragraph? <clears throat> the House of Representatives further charged that Andrew Johnson had brought the high office of the President of the United States into contempt, ridicule, and disgrace to the great scandal of all good citizens. Johnson then faced trial in the Senate. If two-thirds of the senators found him guilty on any charge, he would be removed from office. So again, which of the following terms best summarizes the process described in that paragraph? Is it A, veto, B, impeachment, or C, the 14th Amendment? Number eight, which statement best describes the status of African Americans after Reconstruction? Is it A, most African Americans held factory jobs in urban areas, B, most African Americans were able to take advantage of educational opportunities at colleges, or C, despite the, sub, the excuse me, despite the passage of several constitutional amendments, African Americans found that gaining equal rights was very difficult. Nine, which action marked the end of Reconstruction in the United States? A, ratification of the Fourteenth Amendment. B. Withdrawal of federal troops from the South, or C.
creation of the Freedmen's Bureau. And number 10, why is Plessy versus Ferguson important? A, it outlawed lynching. B, it declared that poll taxes were illegal. Or C, it ruled that segregation was constitutional. All right. Thanks for your attention, and be sure to turn your quiz into your teacher.